YouTube, Joseph Vollmer here, and today I'm putting a uh, IPR solenoid, or IPR valve, whatever you can call it, on a 04 power stroke, with a 6 liter power stroke. Now, the IPR, basically what it does is it controls, it controls the oil pressure going through the, um, coming from the high pressure oil pump, so the PCM uses the IPR to regulate the high pressure the high pressure oil from the high pressure oil pump that fires the fuel injectors. So the problem I'm having with this truck is it will not start, it will not run. Got it on a scan tool, my ICP sensor, the voltage readings coming from the IPC sensor are in line with where they should be. Um, or ICP, excuse me, ICP sensor. Anyway, they're in line with where they should be. My problem is when I'm cranking this truck, it wants it wants uh, a little over a thousand psi. I'm getting 450, 475, and the problem with that is at 450 to 475, 400 is the minimum. Is the basically open line what that high pressure oil pump will put out. So we're going to put a new IPR in and see if that doesn't fix the problem and in the process we're also going to inspect the screen on the end of the IPR to make sure it's not full of crap. Now if it's full of if it's full of junk then chances are we've got a high pressure oil pump that's got an issue. So I'm getting you guys set up real quick and then I'll show you what I'm working on here and I've already done a little bit of disassembly in the process here. You guys have a pretty good view here. Now the IPR is way down in there. I don't know if you can see where that light's shining. Just below the where the up pipes come around and into the turbo. That big nut looking piece down there is the IPR. Now I've already got it unplugged. I've got to get I've got to get some things out of the way here. I've taken this loose to give me some more room to wiggle it around. Um, I've also taken my degas bottle loose so I can weasel it out of my way some. And I've taken, eh, well I got that clamp loose but apparently I got one that's still tight. We're going to get this air tube out of the way. We'll have to get the, the fuel injection control module right here out of the way. And then we should be able to get into that sensor. Now I'm getting a little more room. Get stick them off. You're right there. I'm back. Now we'll get the 
fuel injection control module, i.e. to pick them off. Well, I just dropped something bracket or something down on the floor. Hey, are you saving the sorry bottle? Uh, no. I think, I, I think I was actually the one bug was using. IPR68 socket just specifically for all of these sensors. So I'm gonna should be able now to slide this in here. And now it's got a heat shield on it. Let me see if I can get this heat shield off. Okay, unsnap it. Look at that nice little aluminum jacket. Get that out of the way. Slide that right over top of that sensor. And with any luck. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's on there. There we go. We spun it out. Just like that. Well. Some of that crap that's on this sensor. Hmm. I 
actually came for when it came out. So I'm not terribly concerned about that. Here's where I need to do some checking. There's supposed to be a screen on the end. And it looks like that one fell off. And I want to make sure that screen is not stuck inside the port. Which it is. So we got to fish that screen out of there. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I had it, it just fell off the pick. But we got the screen out. That's the screen that's supposed to be on it. This is the new one. So now we can thread this in. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, so right down there, see where that, that exhaust pipe comes up off the turbo? And there's a big nut looking piece right there with the sensor. Sensor on it? Yeah. Okay, see that aluminum jacket going around the sensor? Uh huh. It's got a snap on it. See the little snap? Yeah. I gotta snap that snap. What are you snapping to it? It's, it's, it wraps around the sensor and then it snaps to itself. It's got it's a snap. It literally it's, oh. it's like a little aluminum coat for the the sensor. But I can't fit my hand. You only get one hand in there, and I can't get my my hands hitting the heat shield on the turbo. Oh. That's all you had to do. Mm, this is all I'll, I've got other stuff I need to do down there, but that's the one thing I can't get my hand in there to do. You make it sound easy. Well, I thought I had it. <laughs> I could do it if I could feel it, and that my hand is small enough. Really, what I need. That's another hand. <laughs> That ain't better. Try and get some light where you can see it. Oh, I can see it. It's just a sleeve that snaps together, almost like a bracelet or something. Yeah, well, a little coat. Or a coat. But you know what? what? Give me like a. Uh, there we go. I just need something to hold the sleeve down because I'm spinning it. Yeah, I know. That was the same problem I was having. The problem is my <laughs> my hands and arms are too big to get two of them in there at the same time. I can't. I think I can probably get both my hands in here now. I just turn my hands that side. Yep. You shithead. What? Mine don't fit. What? I get one hand and that's it. Yeah, but I can't. I'm right there. There it is. 
Oh, you suck. Thank you. I don't get to help you often, so I like helping you. Normally, you don't need my help. Oh. That's the one I think is tight spot my big ass hands don't fit into. I was like, hey, this is that my <laughs> short ass arm can't reach them by the way, Jeff. Maybe you had a little over. <laughs> oh, gosh. That worked out, Jeff. I was going to kick in the face just now. <laughs> Sorry. This is my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't thinking about it, trying to shimmy back up here. Out of the way. Come on. <coughs> I can put that bolt back in. Alright guys, so you've seen it, that's all it takes to put a uh, IPR in one of these trucks. Um, fairly simple if you have the right tools, but you definitely are going to need the socket to get in there. Socket, uh, chrome swivel, extension, you can get right to it once you get a couple things out of the way. But um, That's all there is to it. So, hope you enjoyed the video guys. Don't forget, get out there, get your hands dirty. Please click the subscribe button, rate the video. We'll see you on the next one.